Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're tuning in and whenever you're tuning in, everybody. It's Rod with Pow Group. Welcome back on The Pursuit of Wealth, your home for MJ Stocks, crypto assets, news, and interviews. Today is Thursday, April 4th. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, we've got some major breaking news, massive, massive news from Ripple. They will be launching a USD stablecoin, and this is going to shake up the market in a big, big way. We're talking trillions of dollars. And uh, this news came out, uh, it was funny, Brad Garlinghouse was on stage and they asked him, you know, uh, when do you think you're going to be looking to get into stable coins, if that's something you might even be able to potentially forecast in the future? And he said, yes. And she's like, when do you think you're going to be getting into stable coins? He's like, yes. So uh, I don't think anybody predicted it was going to be this soon, but this is truly uh, the king of crypto, in my opinion, and that is Ripple, the centralized company and private company at the moment. And XRP, the digital asset, the, the virtual digital decentralized currency, right? So this is massive. This is truly the Amazon of crypto in the making. I've got a banger video here for you today. We're going to take a look at a bunch of news, this new news about the stablecoin, and then we're going to take a look at the chart and what to expect in terms of the technicals in the days, weeks ahead. There is some chop right now, spoiler alert, in terms of the technicals, but overall macro, it's looking fantastic. Before we get to it though, make sure to smash like, it helps support me in the channel. And if you're new, you can subscribe, tick the bell, all that good stuff, and you'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. As always, this is not financial advice, this is for entertainment purposes only. You should never buy or sell anything based on anything that I say or write. And also, I do own XRP in my portfolio. It's my biggest position and looking to become accredited, very close to becoming an accredited investor so that I can purchase uh, private equity in Ripple. But who knows, maybe we'll see an IPO uh, sooner rather than later. But uh, yeah, full transparency, I do own it. And also, uh, you can follow us over on X, formerly Twitter. The handle for that is at Group Pow. Going to be using that as my platform of choice going forward. And also going to be giving away an annual gold membership to the Pow Group private community valued at $150. The giveaway will take place Saturday, April 20th. And all you have to do is drop a comment on this video. If you just go to the community tab, scroll down, drop a comment on this video. Just click that link and it will take you to an interview that I did with uh, Nevis Brand CEO. Just drop a comment there and I'll do a random comment picker. So good luck to the winner. So here's the breaking news. Ripple prepares to shake up a $150 billion market with imminent launch of new stablecoin. And this is truly going to be a trillion dollar market, right? And something you have to remember that is these stablecoins are only going to, like everybody thinks down with the banks, down with, you know, fiat money. At the end of the day, stablecoins are pegged to the US dollar, right? So it's going to create more demand for the dollar and they have to back it up with reserves in US dollars. So if everybody in their dog has a phone, right, a, a cell phone, and they're buying crypto, let's say they're in Bitcoin or they're in Ethereum or they're in XRP and they want to sell because they're, they're, you know, they're up a bunch and they have a lot of gains to lock in. What are they going to go to? They're either going to go to the US dollar, more than likely the majority, right? Or some other fiat, or they're going to buy a stable coin that's pegged to the US dollar. And if you buy a stable coin, ultimately they're going to have to back it up with reserves in USD, right? So it, if you actually think about it, it's going to create more demand for these fiat currencies around the world. And there was a video with Chris Larson uh, that where he said that it's actually going to make the big, you know, fiat currencies around the world even bigger. And I would have to agree, right? Just think about it. And then also financial inclusion, right? There's like 2 billion people that are underbanked or unbanked in the world. Imagine if we can get them into the new financial system, get them a phone, right? And they can, now they can buy stable coins with a wallet, right? A digital wallet and effectively buy US dollars, which has been very difficult for some people around the world, right? That don't have access to banks and things like that. Third world countries, etc. So in a notable development, blockchain developer Ripple Labs recently announced his plans to launch a stablecoin pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the US dollar. And this is Ripple, the company, not XRP, the virtual currency. Ripple enters booming stablecoin market. So according to the company's announcements on Thursday today, the stablecoin's reserves will consist of US dollar deposit, short-term US treasury bills, and other undisclosed cash equivalents. So again, if they're doing all this, if they're doing US treasury bills and US dollar deposits, what does that tell you? They're probably confident in the future of the US, right? And as we know, the US is never first, they're never last, and they have the biggest economy in the world, so they can leapfrog everybody. They don't need to be first, but they definitely don't want to be last. So they can be somewhere around the middle and then just leapfrog everybody, right? So I think, you know, the U.S. is going to really turn to Ripple because it's based out of Silicon Valley. It's U.S. born and bred and same thing with XRP, right? So we're going to, it's an exciting time. In the U.S., I think we're going to see a conclusion to this case soon with the SEC and uh, we're going to see crypto thrive in the U.S. and Ripple and XRP are going to be huge beneficiaries of that. I truly believe that. And other undisclosed cash equivalents, as I mentioned, all of these will be audited by a third-party accounting firm. Huh. So you're telling me that, you know, there's like basically 
nothing to worry about and this is basically you know best practice and full transparency oh ripple plans to publish monthly certi uh, certifications also to ensure transparency what other company or you know it, like what other crypto project or company is publishing quarterly reports like ripple doesn't have to do that they're a private company right and they still do it right and then they're going to be doing this as well certifications for the uh, third party accounting and auditing like this this truly is like one of the best companies and i think it's going to be worth more than tesla i think it's going to be worth more than amazon when all said and done in 5 10 20 years from now ripple is going to have the biggest market cap out of any company and valuation out of any company on planet earth we're talking quadrillions all the money in the world we're talking the derivatives market right we're talking uh, swaps and derivatives that's a quadrillion dollar market which we're going to talk about here in a minute stablecoin going to be a trillion dollar market right there is so much potential here it truly is the amazon of crypto and we're talking all the money not just goods and services this is all the world's money and ripple is going to be at the forefront of it replacing swift etc global remittances with the stablecoin market currently valued at around 150 billion it's going to be at least a few trillion in very short order in my opinion ripple's entry is significant the market is projected to exceed 2.8 trillion by 2028 there you go highlighting the potential for growth and adoption i think it'll get there a lot quicker than most people think so Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse emphasized the importance of partnership with compliant crypto native players for success in the space. He highlighted Ripple's track record in launching new products and acquiring companies across various market cycles. And we know they uh, acquired Medico as well. Like there's just no shortage of amazing news here lately. Garlinghouse believes that this move is not only a significant step for Ripple, but will also positively impact XRP Ledger, XRPL community, driving more use cases, liquidity, and opportunities for developers and users, which we know, you know, having... The developer activity is is paramount and we're starting to see more of it more of it but as we start to see the us really come together with their clarity that's only going to drive more development right institutional and DeFi adoption across multiple ecosystems so initially the stablecoin will be available to the xrp ledger and ethereum blockchains blockchains uh, ripple plans to expand its presence to additional blockchains and decentralized finance DeFi protocols and applications so you get your hands at DeFi as well like this is just insane what's happening here it really is uh, happening in front of our eyes and it's just amazing to think that you know we're still this early on like we're, it's not even the end of the first inning folks monica long ripple president stated that issuing the stablecoin and the xrpl and ethereum will unlock new opportunities for institutional and DeFi use cases across multiple ecosystems long further stated and what's the thing that you notice the common theme you notice with ethereum and xrp right is very tribalistic nature no tribalism here no monica long and grad garlinghouse are fine to to mention ethereum they're going to be offering this stable coin on both xrpl and ethereum so erc20 like there's no state there's no there's no uh tribalism here right drop the tribalism if we're going to change how money works around the world we need the ecosystem so the xrp ledger's native capabilities including a decentralized exchange the first ever in the world actually an automated market maker were built to utilize xrp as the bridge asset bringing a trusted stable coin to the xrp ledger will drive more adoption and development contributing to a vibrant ecosystem Man, expected to launch later this year, pending regulatory approval in the U.S. market. We know uh, PayPal just launched a stablecoin as well. So writing's on the wall, folks. It's happening. I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that this is going to get approved. But we'll see. Maybe not until after the um, the SEC lawsuit. After the SEC lawsuit, there's a good chance that we see a XRP ETF. But you know what? BlackRock CEO Larry Fink said that even whenever Ethereum was being investigated now, there was some news that they could potentially be a security uh, deemed a security by the SEC. Larry Fink said that doesn't even matter, right? We have ETFs all the time that have securities in them. So just because it's a security doesn't mean you can't have an ETF. So by that logic, the same thing could apply to XRP. And then eventually Ripple's going to IPO, right? So there's so much to be bullish on. It's not even funny. The introduction of the stablecoin is significant development that has the potential to reshape the stablecoin market while offering new opportunities for institutions, developers, and users alike. And as we know, Ripple's software is being used in enterprise level grade software around the world by you know, thou, like th there's going to be eventually thousands and thousands of companies and, and countries. And remember the acquisition of standard custody and trust company. So they're getting into regulatory, expanding their portfolio of regulatory licenses, like money transmitter licenses. You've got um, the custody, right? A one stop shop when people come to Ripple and they're looking for payments or they're looking for global remittances or looking for CBDCs or what have you, uh, you know, private ledgers. You know they're looking at okay well who's going to custody this thing and coinbase has been one of those but now they can offer that as a one-stop shop solution right so this is just like hard to fathom how big this company is going to be like i said probably going to be the highest valuation company ever on the planet when all said and done here in a decade or two 
Ripple in talks with over a dozen governments for CBDC's central bank digital currency development. Obviously, CBDCs can be used for evil or they can be used for good. Hopefully, you know, uh, regimes around the, around the world decide to use them for good and not for surveillance and whatnot. But hey, cash can be used for good and can be used for bad. But does that mean we outlaw cash? Well, you just regulate the activities, right? Not the, you don't just ban everything. Ripple versus Swift. Can XRP overthrow the payments giant? So uh, they're confusing and completing XRP with Ripple. Ripple's a company. XRP is a digital currency. But yes, Ripple and XRP will replace Swift, in my opinion, or work alongside of it and more than likely team up uh, at some point. But yeah, just imagine, right, the possibilities just with the Swift, uh, you know, just intercepting that. Also, XRP ledger transactions can now be initiated offline. So, yeah, like, just think about where we're going here, folks. If there was ever attack on the on the power grid or whatnot, um, you know, internet goes down. How XRP's ledger's new automated make uh, automated market maker makes crypto trading easier than ever. So they're integrating automated AMMs, automated market makers, a major step towards a robust DeFi ecosystem. So again. It, it, literally their hand in everything it's truly the amazon they also boosted their business payments with the launch of liquidity hub so <laughs> there's a lot of speculation why it wasn't in the u.s probably because of the lawsuit but like if you're not bullish after this video it's hard to uh it's hard to imagine what would make you bullish and you better check your pulse but xrp ledger set to gain new nft amendments so as we know that went live uh what was that xls20 i believe and uh that went live so that brought yeah xls20 so that brought NFTs to the XRP ledger, um, just massive, right? We know some people are paying, you know, um, fifty, a hundred dollars plus for some of the gas fees with Ethereum to mint a new NFT, and with XRP, it's literally pennies, less than a penny. Users can now use XRP with smart contracts as beta testing for F assets begin with Flare. So, <laughs> like smart contracts, DeFi, custody, automated market makers, liquidity hubs, stablecoin. What's not to love here, folks? Everybody knows deep down. You know, all the mainstream media, they know Ripple's going to be the biggest company in crypto, and they know XRP is going to be the biggest crypto in crypto. Also, Ripple integration with ISDA ushers in 1.2 quadrillion market. Can XRP breach $100? So, the International Swaps and Derivatives Association, ISDA, is 1.2 quadrillion. And I, I there's even reports that it could even be somewhere around 2, mil, uh, 2 quadrillion, which is even... Like almost impossible to wrap your head around how big of a number that actually is, folks. Uh, the market right now is only valued at just you know below three trillion dollars, <laughs> one point two quadrillion. Wow. Also, crypto firm Ripple explores IPO outside of the U.S. because of hostile SEC won't go public soon. So if they would have done it by now, uh, if they would have, they would have done it by now. So I think they're waiting for the resolution of this case. I think it's going to happen uh, very very soon. I think there's a good chance of a settlement. Um, or maybe Ripple just has an outright win, uh, but I do. Th they're trying to seek the SEC is trying to seek two billion. I don't think they're going to get anywhere close to that. Uh, there's nothing they can really do for disgorgement. Nobody is really impacted. Um, maybe they get a small slap in the wrist, but I think a settlement is likely. And uh, they didn't cause any harm to any investors, right? Uh, they said basically that people could have got a better price or something like that. It's like okay, well, that's not a reason to uh, to find them two billion dollars and try to bankrupt them. So just uh, it's just fud and. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt, in my opinion. But yeah, just imagine whenever Ripple IPOs, right? Like, there's so many catalysts, it's not even funny. And then if the Ripple lawsuit comes to an, like an end, right? Whether it be Ripple winning or a settlement or, you know, a case dismissal. I can't see a case being dismissed at this point, but I'm not even sure if that's possible. I'm not a legal expert, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the most likely scenario is going to be a settlement. So, like I said, if you're not bullish after that string of... Uh, of articles then i don't know what would make you bullish and like i said i i hope you're alive and you have a pulse <laughs> but we'll take a look at uh, xrp at the moment here so we are heading to potential daily oversold that would be the first time really since back here at the beginning of the year in january and we saw an ema 12 and 26 bear cross as well on the exponential moving averages if we zoom out to the weekly time frame we could see an ema 12 and 26 bear cross there as well we had a small one here but didn't really see much downside but we're looking to confirm a weekly uptrend again with a low high higher low and higher high so if we break 74.2 resistance from here then it's weekly uptrend confirmed and on the monthly time frame we're still uh, in a monthly uptrend as well and we have we have this equilibrium now we have our high low lower high higher low lower high so we're getting very very tight and we just had a monthly ema 12 and 26 bull cross which that's the first time that that's happened since march of 2021 and the last time that happened price skyrocketed up to a dollar 96 and this time with all those catalysts that we have 
this t- it did this last time under you know when they were being sued right <laughs> and before all of these major developments happened so just imagine what's actually going to happen whenever the shackles are unleashed but we are seeing a little bit of a uh, cause for concern here with the, with regards to the stochastic and the MACD. We're seeing a bear cross of the, the stochastic, which usually happens. Then we lose the 10-week moving average, which happened. And then we see a bear cross of the, sto- of the uh, MACD after the stochastic. So it usually happens in that order. And that's exactly what we're seeing. So that's increasing the odds, in my opinion, that we could see that MACD bear cross. And that would likely put us down around 50 cents or you know somewhere around a support there, around 47 cents. So don't be surprised if we do see one more leg down. Like I said, uh, not financial advice, but uh, I think any dip at this point is just for buying and we're gearing up as well for a 50 weekly and 200 weekly bull cross the last time that happened again was in 2021 price skyrocketed to $1.96 it's happening again this time I think that new all-time highs are in the cards over the next potential three to six months we could start our ascent to new all-time highs and then into the end of the year beginning of 2025 uh, I think we could be upwards north of $10 maybe even uh, $20 somewhere around that that neighborhood so uh yeah, it, it's looking fantastic here. But like I said, a little bit more turbulence in the short term here. Uh, so yeah, the micro, short and uh, medium term looking kind of bearish. Um, but long term macro, you know, six months out, three, six months out, it's looking fantastic. And then toward the rent, end of the year, election year as well, and then into 2025 and uh, full blown alt season. And we just had a golden cross as well on the daily time frame with the 50 below the 200 day moving average and crossing. So this is, like I said, it's looking fantastic. Like I said, it happened back here. Price skyrocketed up to about a dollar. And uh, yeah, it's, like I said, it's looking fantastic on the long term, but uh, would expect a little bit more potential downside here. And it could be as a result of the whole crypto space continuing to to see a drawdown, right? Bitcoin, 67,000 down from almost 74,000. So not immune to the sector weakness. And like I said, Never been more bullish on this space, never been more bullish on Ripple, the private company, or XRP, the digital asset. So going down there, let me know what you think of this news. And in my opinion, this is massive, absolutely massive. massive. It cannot be overstated how big this is. But smash the like if you're excited. Going into there, it's Rob with Power Group. Thanks again for joining us in the Pursuit of Wealth, and we'll see you again on the next video.